What up guys? You can tell by the title once again, we got another box from Verkline. This is actually, I thought they were gonna ship together, so this was gonna be a part of the last video with the, uh, the cell frame, but we'll just make another quick video to show it off real quick. So up top, we got, I got so many, so many Verkline stickers. If you guys want some Verkline, oh look, another airhead. We can test our little experiment with that. Um, so we got their tubular control arms, now they have two versions of these. They have one version if you have, if you're gonna run a normal steel or aluminum subframe, then they have a set that are made specifically for their subframe. So I have those and uh, they actually come with um, some spacers to, to move the steering rack a little bit higher. And uh, yeah, that's about all I got. That's about all I know. But this is like the last piece in the kit in the kit and on their site really besides their like end links i think i have like everything i have their control arms toe arms trailing arms rear subframe front subframe and now their front arms they offer a dog bone mount but that's only for dq 500 cars and i think they have front end links rear end links and then they have like subframe inserts but you can't use those in for inserts with their subframes so i have pretty much everything that they offer that i can use so here are well so it's even got the torque specs right on the bag these are part of the new ball joints so the ball joints i have on the car from 034 or 034 sorry for those that are very particular with names um oh look we got the boots to uh cover up the steer glands, I have these on the rear as well. Remember how much of a pain these were to put on? Mm -hmm. Sorry guys, my daughter wants to be in a video apparently. You got a stack of new hardware. Oh, this looks like uh, good. And some bracketry, which I'm not entirely sure what it's for. So we will figure that out. They have some pretty detailed instructions, but this is the main squeeze. Get this open so to me maybe you guys are a little too old or maybe you've been a little too young this is like getting the last piece of exodia to me if you guys ever watch Yu Gi Oh um, this is it like this is what's really gonna make the front end control and steer like all the right ways ah, there's just so many trash bushings because you know we get these cars and they're economy cars that we're trying to turn the race cars so you know they have very squishy bushings. I mean, mid corner, who knows how much your alignment's changing due to bushings that are, you know, just meant to be comfortable and not for motorsports. So that's like one of the biggest reasons to even do any of this stuff. And then of course, with these, you'll be able to adjust um, camber and caster to get them exactly how you want. Caster is like an underrated thing. You don't see too many people talking about caster, or at least I don't. Um, on the MQB pages. Caster will give you more camber as you turn the wheel. So you want to try and get basically at max your caster until right before you rub. So you might have statically three degrees of camber and then I don't know really what the ratio is but during a turn at say half lock you might have three and a half degrees of camber which is going to you know, the more you turn the wheel, the more camber you're gonna get, which means you can, uh, you know, you can obviously corner better. So, here is one of the arms. Oh, so they have both the small ones in this one and the big ones in this one. What I am really anxious to see is how they incorporate for the level sensor and stuff. Oh, they wrap these things so damn good. All right, once again, we will fast forward to when this is all unboxed. All right, so I semi, just kind of like sat things out. So you got multiple adjustment points for your ball joint, which is uh, like a two piece design. You can see here compared to this one, that's plain. These are billet aluminum, I'm assuming. Really nice stuff. Get the work line on there. Super nice stuff. And then really, this is simple. You adjust these 
Um, if you get to what you want, you got your, your dust covers for these ends, which are a real pain to put on. It's a struggle, honestly. Um, part of your ball joints, you got these brackets that I have no idea where they go. So that'll be fun. And a whole lot of hardware that I get to figure out where it's gonna go. You see, get these little like ball things. I think that has to do with level sensors or something. A whole bunch of stuff, but we'll go over that in the install. And here you can see the arms and they're separated. Super nice stuff. High quality, steel, powder coated, making fast, faster. These are super dope. Um, and like I said, these are the same style bushings I have in all the rear, basically. Um, they haven't given me an issue yet. You're, you're supposed to replace them every... I don't know, I guess it really depends on the type of surfaces you drive on and how much you drive the car, but every, I don't know, probably a couple of years, replace those. These, you're able to pop out of there and replace, so that's something to look at down the road. But, it's a quick video, I wanted to show you guys what's up, this for fun stuff. This is the bomb diggity, and tomorrow we're going to start the install. I'm super excited. I will let you guys know. Um, how difficult it is, uh, if it's worth it, which I'm pretty sure they're like, you're not going to be able to beat these at all ever. And then we'll go obviously autocross, drag racing, all that stuff with these. So be on the lookout for those videos coming up. Once again, huge shout out to Verkline for, uh, just making badass parts for our cars. I cannot wait to get my steering feel to be decent. Like she has an E46 M3 with how many miles on it? 170 some thousand miles and that steering in that car feels a thousand times better than mine i guess uh got a baby to attend to so we're gonna wrap this up uh, any questions comments concerns drop them down below i'll put a link down in the description where you can find these and i'll uh get you in a flip-flop